How's it going today guys? I am Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios. Here to do another comic review for you guys. I've been renting a bunch of Jim Starlin, Infinity, Thanos stuff uh, from the library and um, came across the Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath. This is a big one, has several, several different issues in here. This takes place right after Infinity Gauntlet, which is the story where Thanos gets the Infinity Gauntlet, wipes out half the universe. And this guy right here, Mr. Golden Boy, he's the one that ends up getting the gauntlet from Thanos and ends up defeating Thanos. So let's uh, go through this one. This is just a review, kind of run through, uh, show you guys what, what's happening in this book. Uh, maybe you want to get it for yourself. So this is the Infinity Gauntlet, just iconic, iconic comic book cover, just beautiful. I love, I love the design, I love the glaring of the, of the um, stones, or well gems i think they're called gems yeah they're called gems in the comics they're called stones in the movie so these are the infinity gems and i love how it's just separating all the images here it's awesome awesome cover so this is the infinity gauntlet aftermath you have this crew here a bunch of randoms very interesting how they all came together to form a group uh, eventually called the Infinity Watch, I will be doing a review of this right after I do a review of this. It'll be in a separate video. But yeah, this is the Infinity Watch. Um, we'll learn more about them in the coming issues, which I'm about to show you. So it starts off with, with a prelude. This reptile guy, a former enemy of Silver Surfer or Adam Warlock. I think Silver Surfer came across him. Uh, yeah, Silver Surfer came across him. He knew him. Um, just... For whatever reason, he gets resurrected, turns into a cocoon, and then comes out even stronger. Uh, I don't think it was some kind of mystical thing. I think it's, uh, that's just a species. They kind of they he was like a special he had a special gene or something. He kind of explains it later on. And then another prelude here. Um, I'm not sure if this is oh interlude. Sorry, interlude. That's what's called. I don't know if this guy's the same as this guy. I know who this is. He shows up later in the comic. I'm trying to remember who the heck this guy is. I really don't know who that guy is. Anyways, this is the collector. He shows up later on. Uh, anyways, uh, so it starts off with this, the Silver Surfer, the Return of Midnight Sun. Don't know who that is. Really weird character. He has like mirrors on his feet and hands. Starts off with Adam Warlock. Um, like, he gets the a gauntlet and these guys Still, like, right after the battle, they're like, uh, come on, you sh maybe you shouldn't have that thing. And he just teleports them out. Gone. And like, oh, well, uh, I guess we're back on Earth. All right, everyone go back to what they're doing. All right, see ya. Thor leaves. Yeah, yada. Service server. Okay, I'll go back to the universe. Like, nothing just happened. Um, guess we'll just leave Adam Warlock to his own devices. Yada, yada. He's traveling. I mean, <laughs> the comics are crazy, because... Literally, they'll fight some, they'll save the universe, and boom, off to another, like, an hour later, another enemy appears. So, this was a really weird issue. Who, who did this one? Um, writer Ma Ron Martz, Ron, Ron Lim, Ron Lim is an amazing artist, he does the penciling. Um, Ron Martz, I, I guess he takes over the Silver Surfer comics, and starts writing them. Anyways, this guy, this mirror dude, he freaking, what's his name, Midnight Sun, he can't talk. He, do, he does not have the ability to talk, Midnight Sun. So he, sto he, he, he starts beating the crap out of Silver Surfer for whatever reason, or tries to beat the crap out of him, uh, in hopes that Silver Surfer will recognize that he can't speak and, uh, I guess, help him out. This is the dumbest way to ask for help. He's, like, just beating the crap, and Silver Surfer has a lot of mercy, he's like, dude, I don't want to hurt you, Silver Surfer is like, getting hit in the face, kicked in the face, getting smashed to the ground, like, um, and he just keeps taking a beating, like, dude, please stop, I don't want to hurt you, like, talk to me, what's going on, and the guy can't communicate, so his, his master plan is, let me keep beating the crap out of Silver Surfer, and something good will happen, and it, it's really, it made no sense at all, but yeah, they battle, battle, and then, um, the Inhumans come, out of nowhere, and, um, uh, this is Black Bull, he has, his voice is really powerful, I thought if he whispered, he would destroy a city, here, 
if that's what I heard, I think I heard that. Here he actually says a word and only destroys the ground a bit. So that was, that's interesting. I guess he gets stronger as the years go by in the comics. Um, anyways, yeah, they stop it. Silver Surfer goes off, and they, they, they the humans take take this guy, and um, they they want they go to help him out, and then they shake their hands. All right, that was cool. Yeah, it was just a really silly story. This is bad A. This is bad A. Doctor Strange. So we we have the Silver Surfer comic. Now we have a Doctor Strange comic. Um, this is really another this is another strange beginning. He's having a party, and he's like. Uh, and they're they're celebrating and he's like he, he's trying to figure out what the heck's going on But no one in this room remembers that Clea Like he's talking about the, 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 how the universe got wiped out But no one in this room remembers that Clea except you and a couple other spell tossers So why like why is this party happening? And then he's like ah oh, screw it. Let's just keep going So that's really weird. Gamora and Pip, Adam Warlock's besties. They pop up like Adam we need your help or Strange we need your help so he goes over there, uh, and uh, here's Adam Warlock juggling some planets here. Uh, cool stuff. So what's happening is Adam Warlock is losing his sanity because the Infinity Gems are like too much to control. I mean, Thanos was able to do it, but Adam Warlock, Adam Warlock, his mind isn't as strong. Uh, so this is really cool because Doc. This shows how powerful Doctor Strange is. He has to go toe to toe with Adam Warlock. They're about they're about to fight and. He has the Infinity Gauntlet, so you would think, okay, Strange is gonna get wiped out. He, hit, Adam Warlock has all the power in the universe, but uh, no, boom, he opens up his eye and uh, starts all, all these spell books and spell casting stuff pops out. And Warlock uh, tries a few things. He ma manipulates time and reality and whatever, and, and pretty much Strange has a counter for everything. And um, what happened here? How, how does he? How does he? How does he end? I think he talks to his soul or talks to his mind. Doctor Strange talks to Adam Warlock's mind or whatever, and he gets through to him. And, and then um, Adam Warlock gets his senses back, but not really. He was just playing. He was playing like a good guy. He, 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 he's kind of going insane. So the next issue is Warlock and the Infinity Watch. This is an awesome cover. Um, this is I love I love this pose. I don't know who drew this, but it looks amazing. Very heroic. And then you have uh, Infinity in the back there, the embodiment. Not Infinity, but the universe and the embodiment of oh Eternity. The embodiment of Eternity, I believe. So Adam Warlock here is called into question about uh, if he can, if he should have the Infinity Gauntlet. And Infinity over here, I believe that's Infinity. Let me... Anyways, uh, Adam Warlock is called to court. You have the living, this is a really awesome, awesome, <laughs> another awesome drawing, just layout. You have all these superior omnipotent beings, like uh, they're like kind of the, uh, what, do you, the um, what do you call people in the courtroom that Pass the vote. The jury. These are the jury, and the universe here. Eternity is. So yeah, this awesome, awesome art here. This awesome drawing. Adam Warlock is called the court by Eternity, and you have the jury here. You got Galactus and um, Chaos and Order, uh, Love, Hate, some other uh, Celestial here. I don't know who this guy is. Just a bunch of a bunch of people. Just. That's what's so cool about Adam Warlock and his story. You, he come, he uh, interacts with these type of beings a lot. You don't, you won't see this in, um, in, in like Daredevil issues. You know, just Adam Warlock is on another scale, and it's just cool to see the personalities and storylines that that are, are made using these characters. So uh, this is. <laughs> Adam Warlock is a real, he's losing his mind because of the Infinity Gauntlet, but he's such a boss in this. Uh, he's hes trying everyone, he's testing everyone, he's like, I'm more powerful than everybody here. Um, and he's just getting angry that he's, his might and his god is even being challenged. Like, he's losing it. Right here, he, he ends up sh like blasting eternity, and it's just, 
awesome, awesome drawings, awesome art. And Attorney's just pl uh, pleading his case, like why Adam Warlock is not fit, like he's mentally unstable. And then uh, Adam Warlock, uh, he's, he's really losing it here, like just, Adam Warlock re is really losing his mind, then he, then he, then he just goes off, like he, then he just blasts, he blasts everyone. He's like, I guess he's trying to kill everyone. And then uh, the Living Tribunal, just like, he has like an Infinity Gauntlet built inside of him. He's stronger than, than the Infinity Gauntlet. He's above that. And he just kind of puts everything back into order. It's like, how? And then uh, this this is a really bo boss line from Adam Warlock. The, the Living Tribunal says, I represent forces that dwarf even your might. Another assertion yet to be proven. <laughs> Adam Warlock is crazy. Anyways, uh, yeah, they go back and forth. Uh, this is a must-read, awesome dialogue. Um, I think, who wrote this? Please tell me Jim Starlin wrote this. Jim Starlin, yes. Angel Mendia, great artist. He he might be better than Ron Lim, or they're like at the same uh, level. Uh, their their art is very similar, but awesome, awesome artist. The inker did a great job too. All the hatching. But Jim Starlin, this is awesome writing. Really superb writing, just to see how gods would talk amongst each other. That's what's so interesting about this. Great art, great art. Eventually, Adam Warlock comes to terms of what he has to do, and the deal is that he will separate, he'll give gems out to people that he sees fit. Um, look, he, he, he does a little snap here, and then Eternity, like, Eternity's going after him, and he snaps, and Eternity's gone. Boop. And um, Adam Warlock is a G, dude. He really is. But he goes off and to form the Infinity Watch. And this starts a new comic book series that goes on for a while. The cool art by Angel Mendia. Love this, love this. But this is the last time you'll see him wear the glove. And uh, he, he starts fighting the Infinity Watch. He picks Moon Dragon. He just picks a bunch of random people. Um, Jack's Destroyer, Gamora, Pip, the Troll, and he gives them out, and Gamora's, even Gamora's like, this is crazy, you're giving it, we don't deserve this, so you, and, but he's, he keeps saying, like, don't, like, I'm a god, like, don't challenge my godhood, you know, I make decisions that are above your understanding, I guess, I can put it that way, and, uh, this is, when he, when he gives all the gems out, he relinquishes his powers. And this is just beautifully colored. I love this coloring. Drawing, inks, colored. This is just miraculous. Miraculous. Miraculous? Anyways, beautiful, beautiful. And he gives the gems out. Yada, 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 yada. The Infinity Watch. This is classic 90s women's clothing. Just god awful. God awful. Warlock and the Infinity Watch. And you see this art completely changes here. Jim Sterling's still writing writing it. And then you have a guest, a guest penciler. I guess Angel Mendia was busy. Rick Leonardi. I don't... I mean, it's good art. I just I prefer the more realistic stuff. This is more cartoonish. So, but it is what it is. Tolerable. So uh, I guess he oh he goes to the he goes to meet the high evolutionary, which is the guy that gave him the soul gem in the first place. Like Adam Warlock's whole journey started with the high evolutionary, and uh, he takes the mask off and event and he he lost his mind. He, he went crazy. He, I think he saw the a celestial. I forgot the meaning. He saw a celestial uh, building a planet or or, or built, making a star, and then uh, he lost his mind. And coincidence, while while Adam, while Adam Warlock is there, they get attacked by these machine-looking dudes. Yada yada. It's just another odd story, kind of random, but uh, yeah, being attacked, They're trying to fight them off. Adam Warlock does something crazy here. He sacrifices this guy's men. He's like, put your men out there and have them attack the these bad dudes. I want to see how the bad dudes fight. And so they, so the guy willingly sacrifices his men, and Adam, and Adam Warlock watches. And um, you don't usually see superheroes do that, where they willingly give life like that. 
Yeah, three man has fodder, so I can see how this goes down. I, 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 as a guy that likes good dudes, good guys, I didn't like that to see Adam Warlock do that, do, do something like that. It hurt his character, in my opinion. Um. So the Infinity Watch, the uh, right, like literally right after he gives the gems to the Infinity Watch, they get captured like that easily. This guy has Hulk strength. He has the power gem, gets beaten. She has the mind gem, beaten. Time gem, beaten. He can teleport anywhere in the universe, beaten. Like, in, in the matter of a couple pages, it's nuts. But uh, so Adam Warlock goes to save his friends. So the people that were attacking the higher evolutionary and the people that captured his friends are the same people, the same dude doing that. And um, this guy, with he, he takes the power of the gems and makes this kind of beast that he somehow controls. And it's just pure power. Adam Warlock discovers who the guy actually is, and it's none other than the Man Beast. If you don't know who that is, that was Adam Warlock's first enemy um, that he ever defeated. Some big time boss. Just a really, a really silly character in my opinion, the Man Beast. Um, anyways, then, um, Adam Warlock has to fight this giant monster. Revenge of the Beast. Uh, who drew this? A I knew Angel Medea had to draw this, because this, this creature, there's some cool images, like here, of this creature. The muscle, the chest, and the biceps, the tricep, like, the abs, the ribs, the lats, just awesome drawing. This guy's an amazing artist, he knows what he's doing. Adam Warlock fights him, yada yada. He's getting beaten pretty bad. Um, all hope is lost. Eventually, uh, Adam Warlock outsmarts everyone. And the beast is coming down with a fist. Adam Warlock is like all out of hope, all out of plans. And um, this is like last, last ditch effort. The monster slams on like an engine or whatever and boosh, blows up. And um, he wins. Somehow, somehow the, the this monster who has the the powers of the Infinity Gems he dies, but Adam Warlock he survives. Um, explosion, boom, boom! Ship is about to blow up. All hope is lost. He's gonna die. I, I love the coloring here. Awesome art. Uh, and um, they teleport. They teleport to an island. Silver Surfer versus a collection agency. So they jump back to Silver Surfer here. Uh, back to Ron Martz, he's, he's running Silver Surfer now. And then you have Ron Lim. Ron Lim is the guy who did the Infinity Gauntlet drawings and did a lot of Silver Surfer. And uh, they have him on Silver Surfer drawing. Amazing art. What's going on? So, uh, what's his name? The collector. Uh, Gets Silver Surfer and he's asking for help. Uh, there's a there's this virus going around. You need to get this virus or it's gonna kill a lot of people. And uh, Silver Surfer goes off. He sends like, this collection agency as well to get the virus. Um, insanity ensues. Uh, they're getting uh, the collection agency. Yeah, they're mercenaries and just killing people. Yada yada. Ba -da 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 -da. This girl's scared to death. Uh, they're going at it. She ends up dying. Ka kaboom or whatever. She explodes. Silver Surfer ends up absorbing the virus to transfer to transfer back to the collector, but the virus is is making him go insane. This is the virus. He takes it all in. But he's going insane. Um Captain Marvel, he's been dead for a while, but he's returned in the side of, inside of Silver Surfer's mind. So he, he, this is a weird issue. Silver Surfer has to deal with like his internal self and accept all all the deeds he's done, which I thought he did earlier in, in uh, some uh, issues in some other books, but I guess he has to deal with his internal demons once again. I guess he never truly accepted them. Awesome drawing. Angel Medea is a beast. Silver Silver gets pimp slapped. Good, good work, good inking, good coloring. 
Eventually, Silver Surfer prevails. Of course, he absorbs his bad side, like you've seen in so many other stories of shows, animes. And Silver Surfer's back, even more powerful. Yes, this is cool. Collector. I guess this is his true form. But, he, but this is really cool. I, I never seen this form until now. Um, I don't know why this looks cool. Maybe because of the matter. Like floating around his head. He just looks strong. But I don't know if he actually has any powers whatsoever. Uh, okay, and this is this is the guy we saw in the interlude. Some kind of reptile that guy. He wants revenge on Silver Surfer. They go at it. Um, and this weird girl. This kind of princess. She has these bodyguards and this robot. She controls people. Um... She can control men, like with pheromones or whatever, somehow. And she ends up getting really mad because she can't control Silver Surfer. He's not a mortal, and he can't he can't have sex with a, a human anyway, so he has no interest. But she ends up getting captured by the reptile guy because she's freaking stupid. And Silver Surfer's like, get out of here. She keeps like trying to get his attention. And the security guys come. And uh, the dragon ends up killing the security guys. She doesn't care. Silver Surfer doesn't really care that the security guys are dead. Which is another... That's kind of like what happened with Adam Warlock. Like, well, Silver Surfer is more... more He has more morality than Adam Warlock. He, he cares more about life. And to see these people just extin extin extinguished like that. Um, Silver Surfer doesn't really bet an eye. He says something to the lady, the chick. Like, dude, your security's dead. But he doesn't really seem to care, like, Oh my god, like, how can this happen? Like, I wanna kill you, monster! Like, it doesn't really phase him. Which was surprising for me. So, eventually, um, she... He rejects her, and she's mad, but... We'll see her again, unfortunately. It's a really dumb character. Um, Silver Surfer destroys Thanos's throne and monument that he made during the Infinity Gauntlet series. This girl asked her android for like knowledge, like what can she do for power. Uh, she ends up summoning from a ritual uh, the Mistress Love and she gets powers. And then whenever there's love there's hate, so then hate appears. I'll give you more powers, better powers. But there's stipulations like with her she's like when I need you you're gonna, you're gonna follow me. You're gonna, you have to do what I say. And don't go to hate. And five seconds later, hate comes. He pretty much says the same thing. So she breaks the promises of love and then gets hate into her. Uh, she, she's really stupid. <laughs> like she's not thinking about any consequences. She's just, yeah, give me more power. And, uh... Super Surfer still doesn't want her. And, um, that, that's the end of her. This is interesting. So we have Fire Lord and Ethos, I think his name is. Ron Martz. Ron Martz is um, the guy that does Silver Surfer. Penciler, I don't know who Car this Carl guy. Um, so Fire Lord goes to see a prisoner on Titan, and it's Nebula. Apparently she, I, di I didn't know about this, but she decimated, um, what's that world called? It's in Guardians of the Galaxy. He, he went there to kill her. Xandar, that's the place. Xandar. So she blew up the planet or killed everyone on that planet, Xandar. And he's from Xandar, so he wants revenge. And she's she's like the Joker, man. She really does not care. This is Nebula from the Guardians of the Galaxy. She killed all those all those innocent people. And um She's like, hey you're uh She goes to like lick his finger. She just keeps taunting him. And then somehow he, he uh, starts seeing in her mind, like her past, 
how she was mistreated and her she she turned into this monster because of her about her of her upbringing. And uh, Fire Lord's like, oh my god, I felt all of that. And apparently, Ethos has the ability to connect like their mind and spirit or whatever. So he did that to Fire Lord. So because he didn't want Fire Lord to kill Nebula and have that on his head, like he didn't want Fire Lord to be a murderer. So he showed Fire Lord all of this to kind of calm him and like just make him empathize a little bit more about with, with the Nebula. So that's the end of that. Um, that was Infinity Watch. This is volume, oh no, this is Aftermath. The Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath. Next up is the Infinity Watch. Holy crap, that's gonna be a doozy. But yeah, these were, there was a lot of good stories here. Some weren't so good. Um, it's kind of back and forth. A lot of different writers and artists in here. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what, know what you guys think if you've read this or if you're gonna read it. Uh, or uh, also let me know how I can make these videos better. I just started making these videos and comic reviews because I've been renting them from the library. I'm like, hey, why, why don't I make some YouTube videos about them? So let me know what you guys think and how I can make these better so they're more interesting. Any tips or any advice you have for me, just let me know. But thanks again for watching. I'm Manny the Phenom. I, I have my art on Instagram. I draw fan art, stuff like this. So if you're interested in seeing my fan art, please go to Instagram, phenoms underscore studios, and uh, subscribe too if you like these videos. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, phenom out.